Ragboy here and this is part two of our wake surfing safety video in our how to wake surf 101 series. In part one we discussed various safety equipment for wake surfing and also we discussed the type of boat that needs to be used for wake surfing which is an inboard. Now here's Thomas riding behind our boat which is an inboard of course and it gives you a really good idea of the proximity that a normal wake surfer would be when he's wake surfing sometimes a little closer sometimes a little farther away but you'll get to see Thomas is going to fall here and exactly how difficult it would be for him to fall and to somehow go against all that water pressure and go under the swim deck and into the prop. It would be virtually impossible. So that's why we need to use that inboard boat. Now let's move on and let's discuss the proper method for picking up a rider. Now the best way I can think of to show you that is to first show you how not to do it. So I'm going to show you the dreaded power turn. Now a power turn is actually pretty hard to do when you're wake surfing with a weighted boat. You can see here, I'm actually having a lot of trouble whipping the boat around. Either way, I give it throttle and I'm spinning around and you can see that I'm throwing rollers up and down my leg. And on top of that, I'm coming in hard, nose high, over my own rollers, throwing water everywhere and about to kind of throw some wash over Thomas. This is very dangerous and this is how you do not want to pick up a rider. So let's get to showing you how to do it right. Thomas just attempts a 360 and bails because he can't do a 360. Now I let off the gas there and you notice I kind of turn left. That's not on purpose. It's just with the weight in the boat, the way it is, when you let go, my boat turns slightly to the left. Once the boat settles all the way down, I just give it a little bit of throttle, barely above idle, and I come around nice and easy. And I take my time doing it slow, and I do that for a reason is to give your wake the chance to get past you because you don't want to go nose into your wake at such a slow speed or you will swamp your boat. I then come into Thomas at a nice slow pace. I'm not splashing him. Give him a high five, give him the rope, and we're ready to go again. That's how you pick up a rider safely. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. On my lake, it's way too busy and sometimes I gotta pick up my rider fast. So let's go back to that power turn video. Sometimes you gotta get back quick. One thing. Make sure you turn off your cruise control. I've done this where I forget to turn off the cruise control and I whip it around. And then all of a sudden I have my huge weight coming towards my bow and I can't get the bow up because I can't give it enough gas. Make sure you turn off your cruise control. Second, teach your rider to look for boats when he lands. And if he sees any, to wave his board bright side up towards the boats coming towards him. That's very important. He needs to be seen. Last, get in between your rider and the danger. Better to take a hit on the side of your boat than one of your kids or a guest taking a hit by a boat in the head. Okay, so let's wrap up with a few more safety tips while wake surfing. Make sure you have a good mirror with good visibility behind you. Use your bolster seat or sit on something when necessary to make sure you have good visibility over the bow. If you don't have good visibility, then stand up while driving or put somebody in the bow to spot for you ahead to see if there's any danger. Make sure your flag is visible. We mount our flag on the top of our tower because it can be hard to see with all of our boards in the bimini top. Make sure you have at least one, if not two, responsible adults or older kids to spot for you. Do not rely on your mirror to spot when your rider is down. Here's a good tip, but probably not very popular. When your rider goes down, turn off or pause the tunes you need to be able to hear any danger or communication with your rider when returning to pick them up. Make sure you turn off or pause the radio. Lastly, follow all of your local and state laws. If we promote safety while wake surfing, we give it the best chance of being legal for years to come. Stay tuned to wake9.com for more free safety tips and advice for wake surfing.